South Africans on Saturday cleaned up shopping centers and stores looted during a week of shocking violence that rocked the country and left more than 200 dead. Aid organizations also handed out food in communities that had been cut off from main roads or our food shops were ransacked in the unrest. The violence, the worst in post-apartheid South Africa, erupted after former President Jacob Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in jail for snubbing a corruption inquiry. His successor, Cyril Ramaphosa, who came to office promising to curb graft, said raids were a coordinated and well-planned attack on the country's young democracy. The rioting caused widespread destruction, leaving thousands of businesses trashed, including many retail shops that were specifically targeted. Yeah, we are scared even now. I, I, I look like I need something that you can take something out from my, my man. Because to sleep, it's because all the memories is coming. When the memories coming back, there and there we can't sleep. We think about it. As an uneasy calm set in Saturday, residents in the hard hit KwaZulu Neto province swept up debris at the Dube village mall in the township of Inanda, north of Durban, shoveling it into refuse bags. Zuma, whose home province is KwaZulu Neto, commands support among loyalists in the ruling African National Congress who portray him as a champion of the poor. Many in the province are now going hungry after food stores were looted and burned or cut off from suppliers as roads closed. The government, humanitarian aid agencies, charities and churches have started moving food to people in need, including hospital patients and families. So the world is looking at us um, with those eyes, but we want to tell you that, that South Africa has a lot of good people and we have a lot of good stories to tell. And if people and communities work together, everything or anything can be achieved. My prayer is that this unity that is being showed here will not cease after we go back to normal. The organization was also delivering food parcels door to door after a government minister told him on Friday that dozens of Durban areas had no access to food. The few shops that were spared are opening for a few hours and in some places price of bread has almost doubled. Traffic was back to normal along a main highway linking the north to the port city of Durban after it had been closed for much of the week. Robert Fosser said the investigators had sought to exploit the social and economic conditions under which many South Africans live, conditions that have worsened since the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. Of the 212 people killed, 880 died in KwaZulu Nato, according to government figures. Some of the fatalities were shot and others died in looting stampedes.